Yoko, what is this place? The ideal spot for a little meet and greet with a certain elusive author. This is the place where we are most likely to succeed in summoning the spirit. Really? But it feels so eerie here. <laughs> That seems rather fitting, considering that we are dealing with the spirits of the deceased here. What are you so afraid of, honestly? We're finally about to meet the true author of a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Aren't you excited? Paimon's heart is pounding, but Paimon's pretty sure it's not because of excitement! <laughs> Come on, in we go. What a weird painting. Miko, do you know what it's supposed to show? Hmm. Probably a scene from ancient Inazuma. It's a good piece of artwork and all, but it's also kind of eerie. So it's a bit scary. Hmm. Looks like the artist signed their name. Um, Rakusai? Hmm. It's not very clear. Let's go inside and take a look. Let's get down to business! Come on out! Is quite handy. Saves me a lot of work. All right, go and take a look around. There should be a mechanism somewhere that makes the whole room move. Burn. I 
always watching. I've got the upper hand. Right Keep now. Face. Emerge. <laughs> right now. I'm ready. You were cut down. <laughs> Right here. To the fairies. Right now. Come on out. Yeah. Fall before me.
What you got? Troublesome. Come on. Let's dance. Show them. Next, I will show you a secret Kitsune spell. This painting is a swift summoning medium, which means I'll be able to skip many of the more tedious steps. The murky mirror reflects the view of Inazuma in a bygone age. Spirits stirred by the sight of the past will be easily drawn to it. You're up next, little one. Come on, sit yourself down here. Yes. The whole point of a summoning ritual is for a dead person's spirit to possess a living person's body. You saw what happened to that Oni Samurai spirit. After leaving the host's body, he was only able to maintain his form for a very short time before disappearing. Are we positive that summoning a spirit to possess the Traveler isn't going to have any lasting negative consequences? Oh, you really care about the little one quite a lot, don't you? Hmm. I'm a little jealous. I wish my friends were caring like that. <clears throat> anyway, are you scared, little friend? Don't you worry now. It'll be over soon. Just think of it like having a dream. Sit on the chair, stare at the painting, and relax your body and mind. But try and be natural. There's really no need to be nervous. Like he's sitting inside the painting. Huh? Is Paimon seeing things? Did the painting just move? 
recite the incantation in your heart, little one. Also, you'll need to have some intense thoughts going through your head. A wish, for example. Now, what kind of wish do we think it would take to summon forth the author of A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits? Anyone? Um, probably something to do with writing? Very good. The wish needs to be heartfelt, though, so let me help add a little realism to the equation. The book is selling exceptionally well, Traveler, but we're going to need an outline for Chapter 4 as soon as humanly possible. When is the earliest that you can turn it in by? The painting is moving again! What the- <laughs> I never thought the day would come when I'd be summoned using my own ritual. <sighs> Getting a taste of my own medicine. What have we here? Another budding writer? What's come over you all? Why is everyone wishing for help with their writing? Are novels so popular in this day and age? We got you! So you were the one who wrote a first-hand guide to summoning spirits! What are you trying to do, hmm? Why'd you put that summoning incantation in the book, huh? What's your game here? Huh? What's this? Oh, <laughs> I see. No wonder this felt so familiar. I've walked right into your trap, haven't I? You ask me what my game is here? Well, of course. It was to use this incantation as a means for all the souls of the departed yokai to make their glorious return to the world and plunge all of Inazuma into a brutal, bloody war! What? Paimon knew it! You had an evil plan all along! Oh, did you now? Then how naive of you to let me possess this body so easily. I sense... Yes, great power within him. Good. Good! With this power, no one shall be able to stand in my way! <laughs> wake up! Quick! Wake up! We gotta stop him! <laughs> it is futile. You shall never wake him again. This body now belongs to me! You haven't changed a bit. You caught on so quickly. Too perfect. <laughs> well, you made the face enough times that I couldn't exactly miss the hint. This is what you were going for, yes? Never one to stand on the sidelines of a good spectacle, are you? Always got to dive in and fan the flames, ah, huh? you mischievous little kitsune, you? Look what you've done to this little flying one here. Aw. Oh. Poor thing scared witless. <laughs> you were having plenty of fun playing the bad guy a moment ago. Now you're trying to blame it all on me? Urakusai? Miko, you guys know each other? Yes, we do. Of course we do. <laughs> Allow me to formally introduce the author of A First Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits, Urakusai. Uh, no, wait. To be more accurate, it's Urakusai's memory. Memory? Ah, spirits, memories, they're just different words to describe the same thing. Something that comes from the ley lines. Do you remember that recent incident when the Rift Hounds were gnawing at the sacred Sakura's roots? You witnessed human memories leaking from the ley lines, didn't you? Well, since there are human memories, of course there are going to be yokai memories too. 
In life, yokai possess supernatural powers, and even when they are a shadow of their former selves from a bygone era, they still have the ability to control whether they are visible or not. Typically, yokai memories survive longer in the world than those of humans. <laughs> indeed, indeed. I was wandering around the sacred Sakura's roots when I suddenly heard someone yelling, Please, someone, anyone, help me write a truly amazing novel. It piqued my curiosity, so I popped inside his body and wrote a novel for him. So that's how it happened. But why did you include a summoning incantation in the novel? Oh, little one. Not to toot my own horn here, but when I was alive, I wasn't just another Kitsune, no. I was a mighty and powerful Daioko. The memories of other yokai can't possess human bodies at will like I can. But with this incantation, they can go one last little joyride in the world for a couple of days. Anything they're still itching to do, they can go and get it done. Uh, but... but... She's trying to say that all the commotion this causes is likely to be a great disturbance to the humans. Disturbance? <laughs> I guess you mean that we might leave them with some broken dreams after we leave, hmm? Oh, yes. And they might have a fever or whatever. But you know, I actually think that the most admirable thing about human beings is the way that they go out and shape their fate with their own two hands, given that they're not born blessed with the same powers that we enjoy. As for those who would rather draw on external power than seek to improve themselves, it's quite right that they learn their lesson eventually. So when you think about it, we're actually doing the humans a big favor. Miko, you agree, don't you? <laughs> yes, that's what I thought too. All right then, you finally convinced Paimon. You guys were right. What are you scared of, little one? Don't be deceived by her day-to-day -day antics. Miko is actually one of the most powerful yokai out there. Not only that, Irakusai, but my latest work has beaten that book you wrote, A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits, to become the most popular in Inazuma. Hmm, of course. You were never one to make extra work for yourself where you can help it. And yet you went to all these lengths to find my painting room, and even took the trouble to summon me. I knew you must have some ulterior motive. You were always the one to pick a quarrel with me when we all used to gather around and share stories. All right, all right. You win, I lose. Happy now? Ha! <laughs> I finally get to hear you say it centuries later. Ooh, I must say it feels good. Hmm. I remember when you were just a little girl, always hanging off my shoulders. A few hundred years later, and you're all grown up. Oh, Urakusai. How much time do you have left? Hmm. Not much. That goes for all of us, actually. We've all got to go back where we came from in the end. Everyone's quite content in many ways, but they still can't help but ask, are we ever going to have another Hyakyako? <laughs> Don't you worry about that, Urakusai. Arrangements are being made. When my bell rings, it means the moonless night is upon us. <laughs> Great. Wonderful. Fantastic. Miko, it's been nice catching up, but I'd better conserve my energy if I want to stick it out until then. So, I'll be on my way now. All right. Goodbye then, Urakusai. <sighs> One last thing, Miko. I just want to know, have you been well all these years? I've been great, of course. Every day is a happy one. Especially these days. Not only do I have my light novels, but I've also met these two delightfully nosy outlanders. And even A is finally starting to come to her senses. Quite a miracle, given how pig-headed she can be. Oh, well, great. That's fantastic. Urakusai, you'd be right at home in this era. A great storyteller and artist like yourself would be the Yai Publishing House's ace in the hole and I would personally be hounding you over your next installment. <laughs> he disappeared! Are you awake? How are you feeling?
Are you all there? Here, like last time, repeat after me. Oh, you beat me to it. Looks like your brain is intact. So, your first possession, hmm? What was it like? <laughs> Good. Saves me from having to explain everything again. Hearing Rakusai admit defeat has put me in the most wonderful mood. In return, it's only fair that we make sure to deliver on what they're all hoping for. Yes, though they only represent a tiny proportion of the memories in the ley lines, it will still be quite a sight to behold when the time comes. Since you've come this far, why don't you do one last thing for me, hmm? I'll need your help with the ritual. You cannot be serious, Miko! After all that, you still have more errands for us? Huh. You guys teamed up to scare Paimon just now! If you think Paimon's gonna do anything you ask for, think again! Aw, oh, come on. I'm really only asking you to finish what you started. Besides, your paychecks are still in my hands. <laughs> Paimon's paycheck? Oh, well, there's no way out now! We're in too deep. Hello there, my little helpers. So nice of you to join me. You're right on time, too. Huh. As if we had a choice. We just want our paychecks. So, Nico, what exactly do we have to do to make this Hiyakiyaku happen? Also, to be clear, we actually have no idea what it even means. It might sound ominous, but to put it simply, the Hiyakiyaku is just a gathering of the yokai. Back in the day at yokai gatherings, once everyone had had plenty to drink, one by one they'd start soaring into the sky with their yokai powers. There were so many of them that their silhouettes would block out the moon. But now, the yokai memories that leak from the ley lines are weak. They are no longer able to fly. So I will be performing a convocation ritual for them, gathering all the wandering memories together in one plate. When the time comes, they will gather in the sky above the Grand Narukami Shrine. Once their energy is spent, they will be satisfied and return to where they belong. All the preparations for the ritual have actually been made well in advance. Remember the incantation and the mention of Moonless Night that I added to our novel? Oh yeah! Something about reciting the secret spells of Lady Kitsune on a moonless night. That's the one. Actually, it's not a wish-granting incantation at all. It's a spell to help calm the leyline memories. When that time comes, let's all pitch in and help send them on their way. I will start the ritual preparations shortly, and at that time, I need you to do two things. First, tell the Shrine Maidens to leave the mountain. During the Hyakyako, a whole swarm of yokai memories will be hanging around in the air above the Grand Narukami Shrine, Having the Shrine Maidens leave avoids the bothersome issue of someone potentially getting possessed. After that, I will commence the ritual, and the memories will begin to congregate. This will take some time. I need you at the foot of Mount Yogo during this part to keep an eye on nearby monster activity. The memories are normally dispersed and don't pose a threat, but when their energy is concentrated, it is likely to disturb the monsters. They may see this as an opportunity to try and make it up the mountain. I need you to fend them off so that that doesn't happen. All right, got it. Then what? Hmm. Well, if at that point you felt like coming to the shrine and getting a close-up view of the yokai, 
I wouldn't say no. Okay, let's get going. Another bad one? <sighs> no, Talk let me try again. Archon, whenever you are troubled. To send the mountain? Are those Lady Coochie's orders? Yep! Miku said the ritual she's gonna perform soon might pose a physical danger to you all! I see. I'll evacuate everyone right away. W what about you? We'll be taking care of a couple other things for her. And once we're done with that, we're gonna come back and do the ritual together! It seems like Lady Coochie places great trust in you. Lady Kuji's never allowed anyone else to be in her presence when she's conducted rituals like this in the past. Thank you for helping with the ritual, and good luck. Don't worry, we're much stronger than we look. Nico's about to start the ritual! Come on, let's go deal with the monsters down the mountain! Insolent shall be punished. I see everything. No mercy. Huh? Huh? Gotcha. Huh? Huh? Nice and spicy. Her majesty's huh? power flows through me. Huh? to memory. Yeah. Wind blade! <laughs> With the wind! Out of my sight! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Mirror images <laughs> Winter shall eventually come. Look really riled up. Yep, yep. Let's get rid of them as fast as we can. Them All right, here they come. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Share my knowledge. Hey. I'll protect us. <laughs> You're in <tight. laughs> This may hurt a little. I see everything. Disappear. Everyone hold hands! The Temple of Wisdom! <laughs> Let the show begin! Oh. <laughs> There's more! 
Memories of the yokai. They haven't been able to relax and soar through the air like this for a long time. Come with me. You all right, little one? You look a little nervous. It's just, Hyman's never seen anything like this before. Whoa, they've really blocked out the moon. It does look a little intimidating, doesn't it? But I know them. They may be loud and brash at times, but they are good and brave souls. Even after losing their lives in a brutal war, they have never given in to grief or despair. Alas, their time is short. <laughs> Feasts come to an end. <laughs> Since you're sorry to see them leave, why don't you do the recital along with me? Oh, Hakushin, cause of this enchantment, in reverence I perform this rite. In reverence I perform this rite. To be a guiding light. Recite the secret spells of Lady Kitsune tonight, and our wishes will come true. <gasps> oh, Hakushin, cause of this enchantment. I perform this rite to be a guiding light. Your unrivaled power will be honored eternally. Kusai, you asked if I was doing well. Really, every day is a happy day for me. But watching you all leave now, I can't help but feel a little lonely. Mm. Just a little, of course. Hmm. 
just as I thought. The ritual went very smoothly. Thank you both. Hmm? Oh, I'm great. But the look on your face just now... I'm fine, seriously. Really, I... No. Honestly, you two. Pico. Fine. Well, if you're dead set on doing something for me, you can treat me to a meal. Sure, no problem. A meal it is. Okay. Well, see you soon then. to a meal. The venue is Uyu Restaurant. Let's go! It is unbearable. How is the next chapter of the Miraculous Adventures of the Traveler not released yet? It was quite a surprise when the Moonless Night finally came. Yeah, that huge black cloud over Mount Yogo that night. It just seemed to form out of nowhere. But then nothing happened after I made a wish using the method in that book. Yeah... I guess light novels are just fiction after all, huh? That night was definitely the nail in the coffin for the incantations from novels fad. Still, something tells me the Miraculous Adventures of the Traveler will remain an interesting series for a long time to come. Huh? Paimon can't see Miku anywhere. Guess she's not out here. Uh, maybe she went inside already. Let's head in and look for her. Ah, my little friends. There you are. Nico, what is this? You started eating without us? I did, yes. You're paying, after all. The thought of being able to eat the most expensive dishes and drink the finest sake, all for absolutely free? Oh, I just couldn't wait any longer. Ah, boss, see these two faces here? Remember them. They're the ones picking up the bill later. Alrighty. Uh... What's gotten into you? Come on, sit yourselves down. You have to try this fish. It's found exclusively in the waters around Seirai Island. They shipped it to Inazuma overnight, and it was still alive right up until I ordered it. Or maybe you'd rather try this? I know, I know. I normally can't bring myself to drink sake this expensive either. If you don't drink alcohol, that's fine too. There are all kinds of fruit juices covering the whole price spectrum. Uh, Nico! You are outrageous! Last time we were here working on the novel, all you ordered for us was the plainest kushikatsu! Hmm? Strange. I remember no such thing. Oh, so what? You did offer to treat me to a meal, didn't you? Anyway, I am something of a VIP, you know. Wouldn't you find it embarrassing to treat me anything short of lavishly? Miko, this meal is going to be super expensive! Aren't you afraid we won't be able to afford it? <laughs> oh, don't you worry about that. You can most definitely afford it. They're still printing your light novel by the batch, you know. You have quite the generous payment due. on your faces right now. Too perfect. <laughs> oh, by the way, since nobody's wishes came true on the moonless night, novels with incantations are no longer in vogue. So you'll have to come up with something new for the next chapter of The Miraculous Adventures of the Traveler. The deadline is looming. I'm counting on you. <laughs> <laughs> 